Here's the new fad going on with uh, running backs who are hurdling people. Kareem Hunt has done this for a season and a half. Uh, McCaffrey did it yesterday. Alvin Kamara did it yesterday. This isn't going to end well, okay? It's just not. Because Kamara got grazed, all right? Uh, he, Alvin almost had his chipmunks uh, rattled a little bit there. It's, it's, that, that would not – you make the highlights, but you're going to make the highlight for a different reason with this, hey, let me, uh, le- let's play leapfrog here. I'm trying to think. Remember Brandon Jacobs of the Giants did this? He was as big as Michael Strahan. He's one of the biggest guys I've ever been around. And I was like, how can you tackle this guy? But he started jumping over people. And I went, why would you use that body that way instead of just powering through them? But I remember him jumping over people. Yeah, Paul. Do you think this is catching on because it's making the highlights yeah. in TV, sure. social media? Well, you, I don't think you can, you can react this way, but I think you have to think of reacting this way. The great running backs of all time, how many of them did this? You know, I, I, don't, I don't remember running backs doing this, but it feels like now, uh, and it's it, maybe these players are going lower because they can't go higher when they're going to hit you. So maybe it is a strategy that, you know, if they're going to go low, then I'll just jump over them. Or their head's going to be down, I'll jump over them. But it's not going to end well. Somebody's going to get caught. Uh, running backs doing, you know, hurdling now. Like, why has this become a new trend here where these guys are trying to leapfrog defenders? You got to protect your legs. Um, I was lucky and fortunate enough that I was so short that guys, it was, it was, <laughs> they had to go lower than they thought. Uh, but for some of these tall guys, you, you have to protect your knees and your leg. That's how guys are tackling you. So the way to do it is to jump now. I mean, Alvin Kamara did it in the, in the Rams-Saints game. Uh, Todd Gurley has done it multiple times. Uh, I want to say, did James Conner do it as well? I mean, guys are starting to hurl because McCaffrey, McCaffrey yeah, McCaffrey done it. He's a little bit taller than me, too. I wouldn't say he's too much taller than me. I think he may be having, like, some stuff in his shoes. But um, <laughs> when you're when you're a dynamic running back and you're going against safeties and corners, all they try to do is take your legs out. And so, for me, my deal was trying to figure out how to uh, either shake him or lower my shoulder on him because I knew they couldn't get as low as I, I could. But the other thing was to make sure that I um, that you protect your knees because that's your that's your resume, right? If you if you look at any running back, if you if your knees go down, if your knees get hurt or you get you go down, immediately teams and coaches are going to say you're worn out and you're you're over and done with. So you got to make sure you protect your money. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv or download the Dan Patrick Show app.